welcome to the first Amundi market review of 2023. In December, the equity market rally, which started in October, faded amid rising evidence of a US economy slowdown and greater uncertainty on central bank action. Equities sold off across the board, hit by high and thick inflation alongside prospects that the Federal Reserve had farther still to go in its interest rate hikes. In addition, the ECB and the Bank of Japan proved more hawkish than expected, raising concern among investors. Emerging markets also showed weak performance. Bond markets saw the US 10-year Treasury yield rise approaching 3.9% at year-end, despite prospects of a weakening US economic outlook. In the Eurozone, government bonds were driven by the ECB's willingness to continue tightening, with yields on two-year German and French debt both hitting their highest level since 2008. We foresee a weak economic and market environment for the first half of 2023, with inflation slowing, even though it is still likely to remain well above central bank targets. This, combined with higher interest rates, should drive a profit recession, which will materialize mainly in the first half of the year, before a rebound later in the year. A key feature of our 2023 outlook is a strong regional asynchrony in the economic cycles, which could offer opportunities to investors. In 2023, we see rising geopolitical risks in both Europe and the United States. The risks from the Russia-Ukraine war remain significant, even though a ceasefire in the second half of the year remains our most likely scenario. Meanwhile, EU member states reached a deal to cap gas prices starting 15th of February and lasting a year. This agreement should help contain the European energy crisis. In emerging markets, the acceleration of China's reopening could result in an earlier than expected rebound at a time when Europe should be in recession and the US economy in a marked slowdown. Historically, all market downturns, even the most severe, are followed by recovery in the next years. 2023 will be at two speed here, with plenty of risks to watch out for. Investors should stay prudent and start the year with a cautious stance on equity. This entails a neutral view on US equity and still cautious positioning on Europe. We believe that the market focus will soon turn to corporate fundamentals, which should continue to be under pressure. As such, we see downside risks and are becoming cautious in the near term, since current valuations do not reflect earnings risk in case of a recession. We are becoming more constructive on China equity, entering 2023, as a way to play China's economic reopening. In government bonds, markets are looking at inflation and central banks' policies, but attention should soon turn to growth and recession fears. For now, the direction of rates remain high as central banks are still focusing on lowering inflation. With lower economic growth and further rate hikes to come, investors should embrace an active approach. We believe that those headwinds that penalize emerging market bonds in 2022 should fade gradually this year when country-specific drivers will come back into focus. China's reopening is likely to be a positive catalyst for emerging markets in 2023, supporting emerging market bonds and opening up opportunities in the local currency space. We remain slightly constructive on credit, with a strong focus on selection. We think that the transition towards higher funding costs could potentially be painful, particularly for low-rated or highly leveraged high-yield issuers. Yes, all in all, we favor investment-grade segments while staying cautious on high yield. Finally, the US dollar will be a key variable to watch in 2023, especially to detect opportunities across emerging markets. Overall, investors should remain defensive, putting strong emphasis on asset classes and companies that can withstand ongoing inflationary pressures. We believe that opportunities should arise from equities in the coming month when central banks become less aggressive and economic conditions stabilize, but it is still too early at this point.
Thank you for your time and we wish you all a wonderful year.